The Littlest Ewe Lamb Romans chapter 10, verse 13 For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. There was a flock with fleece so white, their spotless wool was clean and bright. They faithfully followed their shepherd with care. He was their keeper and altogether fair. A little family of three in this flock was chosen by the shepherd to help lead as they walked. So the father sheep with a pastoral heart would gladly lead with a heavy load in his cart. Those that lead others in truth will bear many weights for their shepherd with cautious care. They are entrusted with much so that all can walk, spotless and blameless, in the shepherd's flock. One day, while following the shepherd's way, the mother sheep helped bear the cart that day. She walked along next to whom she adored, sharing the heavy load with one accord. She bore the load often from day to day so that the father could continue leading the way. And there, right behind them, their little ewe lamb, followed behind the mother ewe and the father ram. This little ewe lamb, named Ebony Deer, was very young, but for her, the shepherd did care. He knew of her every piece of wool. He had them all numbered and her fleece so full. This day as she followed her parents from behind, the shepherd whispered back to her with words gentle and kind. Stay next to your parents where safe you'll be. Don't leave their side or danger you'll see. Now, a little sheep must always beware to follow his or her parents with caution and care. For if the parents are with the shepherd who's wise, then they escape all harm, even when it's in disguise. The little ewe lamb, though young and small, nodded her head and obeyed the call. She ran with joy next to her mother's side and diligently stayed there that day to abide. The little lamb often heard the shepherd say, If you want to be as your mother, then you must obey. Ebony dear longed to be as her mother so white. There was no blemish on her, no, not one in sight. For the shepherd would go to each sheep of age and freely wash away the dirt without wage. Many little sheep in this little fold would watch the washings and with wonder behold. They knew that they needed to be washed as well, so the dirt from the fleece would be dispelled, and all the young lambs with dirt on their fleece desired to be washed so that they too could have peace. This day as the little ewe lamb walked in line, she saw there ahead a brown wooden sign. The words written down were water ahead. The ewe lamb leaped with joy at what it said. Little ebony deer thought to herself, I shall jump in the water and wash myself. Then maybe I shall have no blemish as well. So she ran fast to the waters and in them she fell. Then climbing out all soaked in water, she heard her mother, come now my daughter. She skipped back to the fold, her will to cease, then closely examined her dirty fleece. There as before, upon her wool, still sat much dirt, still just as full. Her mother looked down and whispered kind, a cleansing in those waters you'll never find. So Ebony Deer continued on her way, carefully following her parents and not wanting to stray. She thought really hard about her fleece with dirt and felt saddened in heart due to sin's great hurt. And then as she walked and meditated more, 
They passed by a market and a garment store. She glanced at the store and saw garments for sale, and with zeal again out loud she yelled, A garment that's clean shall be my cure, it shall cover my wool and make me pure. But then as her father heard her sayings, he stopped his cart and started praying. And after he spoke to his shepherd so near, he looked down at his ewe lamb ebony deer. With a soft and deep voice he said, Now dear, that garment may as a cure appear, but it cannot cleanse the inner heart, and it will never force the stains to depart. You can only find a true cleansing one way, and that is to give your life to the shepherd this day. And then by his mercy he shall wash your fleece, and with his nail-pierced hands he shall give your heart peace. They continued on their course with silence the more, as the little ewe lamb's tears started to pour. For over her stain she wept and she grieved. She desired a cleansing, but needed to believe. As Ebony Deer kept close to her parents that day, her father then whispered, We all as sheep have gone astray. Little Ebony Deer perked her ears up high and asked, How can that be? with a loud cry. As her father walked, pulling his cart, he began to share about when he was lost in heart. He said with tears flowing down his face, I was lost bruised and dirty until I was saved by grace. You see, my littlest ebony dear, the shepherd's mercy taught my heart to fear. He bandaged my wounds and cleansed my stains. He set me free and broke all of my chains. At the end of the testimony of the father ram, faith began to rise in the heart of the ewe lamb. Then her tears did cease to fall, and with fervency of soul she on the shepherd did call. Have mercy on me, though undeserved I am. Wash me clean, just as my father ram. And then, after a moment of fervent prayer, appeared next to the ewe lamb the shepherd so fair. With power in his hands and with blood he did clean every single piece of wool, both seen and unseen. With great love he whispered to the small you, Obey my words, for they are pure and true. Follow your parents as they follow me, and safe from all harm you shall forever be. From that day on, little Ebony dear, maintained obedience with a righteous fear. She never from her parents' side did part, and she often helped with her father's heavy cart. Proverbs chapter 8, verse 17. I love them that love me, and those that seek me early shall find me.